What's up, guys? What's going on? Games James coming at you. Normally, I'll be doing a, uh, a gaming video, but right now, I want to show you how to run two instances of OBS Studio while also saving the settings separately. It might not seem like that big of a deal, but if you've got one type recording, you want to save those type of settings separately from something else, like if you want to record uh, a webcam on one and your gameplay on the other, or two separate monitors, etc. This right here, it's going to look weird because it goes in like this, but... This right here is, is one instance. I call it webcam. This is what I would be using for my webcam. This next one's gonna get a bit trippy because when I bring this next one in, it's like gonna be even, well, maybe not. And this is the second one. This one is the profile game. So I have these two separate. I have settings set up differently and I have sources set up differently. Now, you'll be able to get two instances easily with this, but you wanna be able to save the settings without going through these steps first. I haven't found one online. I found it for using just the regular original OBS, but I've not found it for using OBS Studio. So I'm going to get into it. I'm going to show you. Take it step by step. Peace. Okay, so first what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to obsproject.com slash download. Just go to obsproject.com. You'll find it. You'll see the download over here. You're going to want to make sure it's the OBS Studio, and you're going to want to download the zip. Download the zip to wherever you want to download the zip to. That's fine. Then you're going to want to extract the zip. And then after that, you're going to have this. You're going to have the zip. It's going to say OBS Studio, whatever it's named, full. You're going to, it's not going to say bin 1 or bin 2. It's just going to say bin. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a copy. So you copy this, and it's then going to create a bin that says copy. You can name it bin 1, bin 2. That's what I did. So you got bin 1, bin 2. Inside of here, you're going to also have your 64-bit or 32-bit, whichever one you use. It's going to be in there. You can create a shortcut for it. You're going to need to create a shortcut for both the 64-bit for the first bin and then you're also going to need to create a sh shortcut for either the 64 or the 32 for the second bin. Mine are off over here, which I've renamed. So you're going to need to do that. I'll take you through that in just a second. But first, you're going to want to um, go into your program files. So where's that at? All right, let's just go to here. Oh, should have had this up already. This PC. So you're going to go into your program files. You're going to find OBS Studio. So now let's see yeah that's what I thought so now you're gonna take you're gonna want to copy this OBS studio you're gonna click copy then you're gonna create a new folder new sorry about that you're gonna create new folder and then you're gonna rename it OBS dash studio 2 it could be named kind of whatever you want and then you're gonna open this up and you're gonna paste that entire folder into here so you're going to paste it into here. So everything that was on this OBS Studio is now in its own separate folder, and it's going to be pasted into here. So now you have two separate ones. So after you do that, let's make sure. Yep, yep, yep. So in here, you would have the same exact bin, but you cannot create a shortcut. So a shortcut cannot be placed here. It has to go in the desktop. Don't do that. You're then going to go back into your OBS Studio zip that you did. You're going to go to bin 1, 64, or 32. You're going to right click. You're going to choose create shortcut. Now, in that shortcut, it's going to, you're going to go to create shortcut. And inside the shortcut, you're going to go to properties. And at the end here, you're going to name it, you're going to do space minus minus portable. P O R T A B L E. That's all you need to do. You're going to click apply, then click OK. I'm not going to do that, and I'm going to delete this shortcut because I already have it over here. So after you do that one, you're then going to go back. You're going to go to bin 2, go to your 64-bit, and then you're going to create a shortcut. Same thing. Properties. You go to the very end. You push space, minus, minus, portable, P-O-R-T-A-B-L-E. Apply. OK. And then when you're done doing that, so I'm just going to delete it, you can then drag it out to here. Let's just say this was here. You drag it out into here, and you're going to have one that just says OBS 64 shortcut. And then you're going to go back into your bin 1, go to your 64-bit. You're going to go back to that shortcut, which we're just going to say is here, and you're going to drag it out here. And then it's going to say OBS shortcut 2. You can rename it whatever you want, instance 1, instance 2, yada, yada, yada. And then that's all that you have to do. 
it seems like, oh, James, that's that's pretty simple to figure out. But everything I've seen hasn't really told you that you got to go into you got to go into your uh, program files, OBS, copy the OBS Studio, make a second one. Because if you don't make a second one, what it, what ends up happening is so you will let's say let's come over here, bring this one into screen. Let's say you, you do this one, you go to the settings, you set up your settings. Let's say you want to change your output. You put five thousand on this one, or this. My big thing was recording, so I wanted to record the webcam to a specific OBS recording slash webcam recordings. I wanted it to record to that. Perfect. Okay, and then I bring my other one in. I bring this one in, and I want to record this one output. I want to save this to just OBS recordings, and I would click OK. But what ended up happening is when you closed these two out. I'm not going to close that one out because it's one I'm recording on. When you close these two out, you close this one, close the other one out, and then you open it back up. Make sure I'm not opening the right one. Whatever setting that you did last then transfers over to both of them. So this one would automatically, if I if I did this setting first, I wanted it to go to uh, webcam recordings, it, and then I went over to my other one, and I said that one, I just wanted it to be OBS recordings. Whatever the final settings would be, it would it would go to that so this webcam recordings would no longer exist it would pretend like I never put that in both of them would be the exact same instance pretty much you'd have two but the settings would be equal and so you'd have to go in every single time you wanted to record and switch it up change it up yada 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 a way to tell if you've done this right is you go to your file show settings folder so this one over here I'm gonna drag it right here and let's make it smaller so it'll fit on the screen so this is the settings folder for my webcam. So and then you go over to the the uh, the game one, which is what I call mine. Oh, not settings. Sorry about that. You go to settings folder. You'll see that it's two different ones. They both say OBS Studio at the top, but this one says App Data Roaming OBS Studio. This says configure OBS Studio. So now this is how you know it's saving to do two separate spots. You can set up whatever settings you want, and then you can use it equally. So if I wanted to, this could be, let's just do, we'll just turn my webcam on real quick. This could be me. What's going on, guys? It's been very rare. You ever see me without a hat on on YouTube? This is why. The hair ain't that great. It's, it's whatever. But yeah, this way I can set this up, set it wherever I want to record it. And then whenever I go in and I edit, I can then have this separate and I can move it wherever I want on my edit screen. It's not just stuck to, let's say, if I had this here and I had my monitor in the background when you record it's stuck together you can't get them off you can't make this disappear if there's a section you don't want it to be yada 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 so if this helped you out let me know down in the comments i appreciate it if it's a little confusing let me know i'll, I'll revise it i'll edit it a bit uh, i'll make it a bit smoother this is my first tutorial that i've ever done i'm used to just gaming and, and, and cussing and just saying random crap when i'm gaming so I don't have a good structure to it, so I apologize. But if this helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help other people see it. If you, if it, if it helped you, share it out there and maybe check out my channel. I don't have many other tutorials. I have just a lot of gaming stuff. But if I could figure more stuff out like this, and I'm having a hard time, and it's hard for me to do it, and then I finally figure it out, I'm gonna put it up here to kind of show people what to do. So, like I said, if you liked it, if it helps you out, give it a thumbs up. Help me out. Help some other people out. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.